Hey everyone, my name is Eddie Wang and welcome to another Scarlet video cast and today we're going to cover uh, Scarlet and tires. Uh, we have three moves that we can utilize to entire people and uh, in case they are being so smart as you can actually build some combos from it. Even one of them has a crazy withstand uh, with a lot of plus frames for you to try uh, any mix-up you want with a throw, with a overhead, with a low and if you set up a, a crushing blow with the overhead uh, you want to utilize this in the corner uh, so they have to guess and if they guess wrong they are going to get a full combo and if they guess uh, wrong on the overhead they're going to get a massive damage output so i'm going to start by showing you which buttons i'm talking about the first one is standing one which is seven frame startup has only two watty frames so it recovers at uh at 16 frames if it hits on the last at the frame it recovers at 15 and while this move is good to hit people who jump from afar up close it sucks because it's only two watty frames i believe it, it if it had one more oh it would be great uh, to enter air up close uh, but not it's not the case uh, the active frames of this move are pretty short but the move recovers fast enough to start building some combos uh, it wasn't like that before uh, i i remember on uh, on the stress test uh, i tested the game before the beta and in the beta also this was 20 frames or more and it was super slow to continue anything so something they have changed it on the release day and they reduced it four frames i believe and made it 16 frames one up to and the rest for remembering scarlet so the second one is standing two which is i believe her best entire uh, 13 frame startup hitbox is high enough and it's actually a, a 360 entire move meaning that it's going to hit people in the front and on the back as you guys can see she circles the sword uh, to her back so she can hit people uh, right in the back right as you guys can see so everyone jumping at scarlet if you do this and they are trying to cross up uh, you can there is a high chance of hitting them in the back and when they are anti air that way they are going to be brought in front of you so you can continue some combos uh, this is another move that is great for for entire i believe it's the best one uh, and another one is forward two forward two is really great it's 13 frames now sadly easy to be 12 uh a nerf and uh this move is so great because uh, it ensures you repositioning on every entire you do and uh, you can actually use this for a blood ball guaranteed combo setup that doesn't work as much mid screen but in the corner works great and when it does uh, you get to a massive plus frames where you can set up a low or overhead a throw or even with punishing your preventing ducking with 212 whatever anything you want to do at plus 29 you can do with with the blood ball at the wall right so i'm going to cover every entire uh, i already told you the advantage of this and the big disadvantage i'm going to show you right here uh probably going to get hit a lot by jump kicks uh, so the first one is this and this works fine so, and do the range this is the only combo that you can do doesn't allow you to do anything else uh, because they are so far away but you can do this up close uh, is much difficult but you can duck if they are doing too far uh, but if they are doing too low in, the, in let's just record this once more right uh, if they are doing the kick too low like this for example and right which hits low you can you can now anti here with the jab much better just don't doesn't need to 
and this is the combo that you can do when they are kind of close right uh, you can also do 25% with uh, with this and this also works now with this one stunning two uh, also get a follow up and which she does 18% of the damage uh, sadly this this one doesn't doesn't allow for any follow up so the best option is just to continue and do whatever but sadly it doesn't allow you for nothing more uh, then we have this one which is pretty consistent and gives position back as you can see you can also do this but it's kind of difficult to hit this mid screen right but it's possible uh, still not so sure about the ranges but this is plus 29 on hit and at plus 29 on hit uh, there is a lot that you can do with this move So I'm going to switch to corner and explain you why uh, this is a great move, uh, right, right, right here. So in this position, in this position, you can do this much easier. Uh, and even if the opponent tries to duck it, right? Let's say they are going to try to duck this. Okay. Oh, let's say they try to duck it. Too slow. Let's say they try to duck it, right? Just need to hit the timing right. Mm -hmm. and you get a lot of damage from it. so this is just one example one of many and uh So there is a lot that you can do with this and of course there is the flawless block which you can learn the timings which is kind of difficult for now but it kind of depends on how low they hit so if they hit low they become plus if they hit high they become minus see so you are it's impossible to to launch if they are minus a uh, plus actually you can't uh, but if they hit you from 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 a much higher position uh, you can now launch with a flawless block so just going to show you a quick example um, see how how high the kick is so in this position you can flawless block and, uh, and they cannot do anything about it. See? And uh, you can do this as well. Or oh, this connects. Good shit. Wait a minute. Wait a freaking minute. So let's put this back to custom. Oh, they block it. Okay. So this is so plus that we can. Oh my god, this is great. 
this is great so not only we can use this as entire but this is great because now we have the best position to mess around uh, with scarlet setups and wish they can't even do anything about it uh, so if you will punish with this uh, since he has a 13 frame of cancel advantage and the blood ball starts exactly at 13 frames you get to hit people with this and they cannot do anything uh, we need to find more oh, this one is still too so this one doesn't work they're going to block uh, there we go this is 23 so we only have one thing this one if I do this sorry I'm just taking extra time because I just find out something interesting uh, let's say they are ducking no let's say the position must be crouched See if this works. No, it doesn't work. So they are class after all. Ah, but this works. Interesting stuff. So from this range, from this range is a monster. See? interesting interesting so this video is going to be named uh scarlet entires and guaranteed blood ball setups uh, so we have this string which ensures scarlet uh, free blood ball uh, interesting indeed. and, and uh, it allows her to start free mix-ups Uh, allows her to start free mix up so as I said before this is the best position Scarlet can be uh, against someone because in this position she pretty much uh, locks locks any character in the game uh, with this uh, let's check out the range of the spear this is going to is going to be annoying uh, at this range uh, this going to be annoying as well uh, and there is this which is going to be very annoying uh, and then she has all the entire areas in the world uh, overhead which no longer gives health sadly I would expect at least to give like a launch nope doesn't give health anymore Uh, so what does it does? How much damage is this? 70 yeah. It sucks really it used it to be great. So if this give was given a, a Launch property it would be great, but right now this is at least like above crushing bro so thanks for watching and thanks for the time I appreciate while I was grinning some of the stuff in this guide and next video I'm going to talk about the flawless block so see you guys in the next video